Welcome to the September 26th Aries Cloud Agent Python Maintainers Meeting. Lots to talk about. There's an agenda. We're recording. Antitrust policy is in effect for the Linux Foundation. The Hyperledger Code of Conduct is in effect. Let's get into it. Any announcements, adjustments, things people want to talk about? We can now send nonverbal feedback, yes, slow down from reactions on the toolbar. Aren't you glad? Oh, really? Zoom let us know that. Let's see where to do it, but anyway. All right. Am I editing? I am not. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, PR 2486 is needed for an upgrade that at least we have to do. I don't know if others um, need it. Basically, we have a very old issuer that is in production. Um, and this upgrade uh, fixes some tags and other issues related to issuer RevReg records. Basically, we've had a problem with Every time we do a revoke, we've had to fix the revocation, meaning we have to sync up what's in the wallet and what's in the ledger, and that comes back to this. Once we go to um, 0, 10, 2, we wouldn't be able to fix it, I believe, or something like that. So anyway, we have to get this fix in. Uh, we'd like to do a 0, 10, 3 with just this fix. Um, so... I wondered, A, is there anything else that ought to go into it? And B, any objections to it? And C, Shanjot, making sure that we can actually do this as a separate release. Is that doable as a 0, 10, 3? Um, Shanjot, that, that'll work. Yes, uh, I, there's no dependency with the code uh, that's there in me right now. I, uh, it's all like, uh, uh, I think it should work like no no new commits uh, that uh, that have a dependency. Uh, the test status on this is basically from yesterday. The unit test that was pretty like the fixed ledger entry function uh, that what I uh, I fixed in this PR wasn't unit test covered earlier, so it is covered now. And the peculiar uh, logic with the Esper profile session that was proving a bit tricky to uh, do it in test has been resolved. So that test has I, I've added that test in. Just uh, squashing the commits into a single commit, just uh, like uh, uh, minimizing the git commit history. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now and should be good to go in next half an hour. Okay. Comments from anyone on, on us doing a 0, 10, 3? Um, the only comment I have is that we have some changes that we'd, we'd like to see in a release pretty soon. Okay. As well, I don't think those are quite ready. And if this is all ready to go, I, I have no issues with okay. supporting getting out a, a 0 10 3 release, but uh, definitely probably would like to continue pushing on uh, a 0 11 release after that one comes out. Okay. Yeah. And that was the next, which is to look at this. Um, so 0 10 3 with just that one right now. You don't have any others that you need in there. Daniel? Um, so the, the, the big one that I'm pursuing right now is the uh, the mediation routing keys fixes. Um, and that is going to come with some changes in uh, the behavior in out of band, I think, yeah. at least, um, which seems like it would probably not be a, a, a patch release, I suppose. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why my fancy why can i not edit it why is it not there anyway i did a nice fancy here's all the releases since then and got it all set up but it's not showing up okay oh man even that's not working Oh, well, let's look at merged.
Man, I am not having a good keyboard day. Okay, the, the merge, I came up with one that would eliminate the ones that were put into the, uh, that are only in main. And um, so, Basically, we'd be talking the ones, basically everything on this page. Um, remove that code, did exchange version set. So none of these, these are just sort of maintenance things. The peer did resolution, that's a big deal. Bug fix. Documentation, documentation and dev container. Uh, obviously, big thing we're getting in here would be just uh, SD Jot, so that's a significant enhancement. That's cleanup. Update PyDiv is cleanup. So uh, it doesn't look like 11 would be that big a deal. So that's good. It's got a lot of things, but not that mostly to do with developer uh, improvements. Yeah, the, the main thing that we're pushing on right now um, is that uh, the routing keys PR, um, but that, that's pushing us in the direction of um, compatibility between our out of band and mid exchange implementation with uh, at least recent releases of AFJ. Yeah. Um, so right now we don't really have the ability to do a did exchange protocol with AFJ because it's using did peer one. We don't intend to implement did peer one, of course, um, but they're they're working on a did peer two, um, and then this also influences our, our compatibility there because we we also don't have the ability to do public did uh, out of band uh, with AFJ because our routing keys are inappropriately. Uh, formatted on on the ledger so did you um, go on the ledger yeah because they're unqualified yep yeah and then we've got this you saw this right yeah right it, so it, i think the right out of sync <laughs> yeah with the with so the, the rfcs i think were probably a little confused themselves um I don't think it was clear to the authors at the time what the difference between the did key reference and the did key itself was. Yeah. Um, I think the intent is clear that it should be did key references, but the examples are incorrect. Um, so uh, what AFJ is doing is accepting either a did key or a did key reference, mm -hmm. um, but it's currently sending out uh, just did keys, but only an out of band. Uh, in the did exchange, it's it's using the fully um, the full reference did key in routing keys. Um, yeah, so I, I think we can probably do something similar in that we're we're willing to accept the just the did key. Yeah, uh, but then we'll just transform it to the reference so we can yeah. process it yeah. as if it were a correctly formatted value. And then we put in the same fix in AFJ. Right. And then we're good to go with switching over to using references. Yep. Okay. You need coordinated updates, love them. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, and you're dealing with this right now? Yeah, I've, I've got some tests that need to, to be updated, I think yeah. is the main failures there right now. Okay. So this is, that's the main thing you want um well so then the, the next thing that we really want to push on after this is getting the did peer support in for right. did peer two and did exchange so those are those are kind of the two big ones whoops just a minute hang on okay um so that's that one this one that one um i'm less 
yeah. invested in having that one pushed yeah. in quickly, but it, it's just getting rid of some old stuff that was unused anyways. Yeah. So it's just a cleanup. Okay. Um, Shanjot, you've got this one in work in ready for review. Uh, this is uh, under undergoing testing right now. Uh, so I got the initial review, but after that, I had to make some changes because of the issue I had discovered. So okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Let's be. Let's keep on the uh, convert to draft when necessary. This one. Okay. This one is ready for review. Okay. And then this last one. Are we going to close this one or are we going to move forward with it? This is really old. So should we just close this one? Or is this a useful fix? I, I haven't looked at the code recently, but I would have to guess that it's probably hopelessly stale at this point. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the effort to resolve merge conflicts might be. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shanjad, is it a good idea to close this? What do you, do you even remember it? <laughs> I I don't uh, have to like take a look again. But it it's like whatever uh, at that stage I started working, it was stopped at a decent stage. So I like it'll be like if we need to, we can just recreate or re reopen this. But for now, I think we can close this. All right. Um. Is there an issue that is linked to this one to track the the actual problem? I believe so. Oh, that one. Resolve no error message if tail server is down. Okay. It was there. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I keep these open at least. It sounds like it could be like a very helpful for some. Yeah. Uh, agreed. It can be very helpful. Yeah. Um, Okay, that leaves that one more issue. Um, in the review required, which is this one. Right, this one is one that I've had on my to-do list to, to look at deeper. Um, kind of the main challenge here is that I think there's a better way to do this. Um, I just haven't had the time to think through what the better way would look like and to suggest alternatives here, so. All right, it's fine to leave it, I think. Um, yeah, let's just leave it. So our review requires are, are let, let's get a look at those. Let's keep using draft when things are not ready. Um, and we'll figure out what to do. Uh, we'll, and then we'll plan a, a zero 11 release. Um, Just as a matter of interest, where are we? How close does that get us? At some point, we need to go over what's left in the, um, you know, in this set of things for AIP2. I think we've got that one nailed. Whoops. Daniel, do you, you know way more about root coordination than I do. Do you remember where we are with that? Um, uh, I believe from a protocol perspective, I think we're actually in a good position on uh, the coordinate mediation protocol now. Uh, I think the only thing that was out of spec was the DIT key usage. Exactly. Um, yeah. We are cutting over to a state where we can accept either base 58 or, or did key. Um, right. We already were accepting both of those actually, but we were storing them as base 58, hence the issues with being pushed to the ledger in the, the incorrect format. Um, but I, I think from a protocol perspective, we were already yeah. um, good to go there. Use did key, that was the update. Do you um, know anything about this, the encryption envelope? 
No. Okay. Uh, I have not looked at this recently. No, yeah. <clears throat> um, so on the did exchange one, so we we've merged in like the the did resolution for a did peer two, and yeah. the storage of of did peer three as aliases to the did peer two. Uh, but we're not yet able to use those in our did exchange vertical. So we, we've got one extra step to complete there before we're okay. um, good to go on that one. And Sirotuck, you are not going to be available, Jason, um, for at least, how, how do you know how long you're still going to be on NDS after you come back? So. So Jason's off to Utica, New York, to referee a international lacrosse event, which is pretty wild. Um, and then, but you're also doing MBS. We can't hear you if you're speaking. We can't hear anything you're saying, um, Jason, if you are, at least I can't. I assume others can't. No, uh, something wrong with this thing. He's put a chat that... Oh, okay. <laughs> I missed that. So, um, hopefully we can hear from Jason in a second here, but uh, if he's unavailable to work on that, and I get through the routing key stuff here, hopefully pretty shortly, I can put some time in on uh, getting the dip here to uh, and did exchange put awesome. together. That's a, a high enough priority for us that I, I think they, yeah. they want me to push on that. So and that, yep. Um, I didn't realize, Andrew, you are on the call. Um, would you be able to take a look at where we are with 587 and sort of, you know, don't do it, but sort of give us a here's the state of it and here's what would need to be done. So spend an hour or two on that to give us guidance as to where we are. Yeah. Um, most of the functionality is there in, in Oscar. Yeah. Um, one of the sticking points is just going to be doing resolution during, did, did resolution during unpacking which I would probably restrict to methods that don't actually make any external calls, personally. Um, you know, resolving did peer and did key. Right. Oh, hold on. So that so you're saying you would not use for encryption envelopes, not use um, public dids. Um, hard to say. I mean, I'm sure there's a use case for that too. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a, aware of at least one scenario that uh, my uh, interested parties would have. Yeah. They would want to see did web be able to be used um, in a didcom perspective. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. Um, so going back in my memory a long way, I know uh, um, that's something that Matter Tobias always used to say they wanted to be able to do is use the same did for all the did um, their did com. Yeah, I'm. I mean, it's implementable. It's just like you got to hold that, hold on to this message in the queue while you do the resolution and. If you get a hundred of those at once, yeah, it could be a problem. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think you've got caching though, right? Um, we do. Yeah. So we've got a caching layer in there, so the resolution would be subject to caching. It would. Okay. Well, also... if you could just give us an assessment of of what was needed and where we are with that. Yeah, um, you know, I, these two were both dropped as I, I don't believe they were ever merged. Right, this was just closed, and yeah, both of these were closed. 
So they never were applied. So the question is, if they weren't applied, where are we with them now? Um, <laughs> that's funny, the remove emit. Yeah, we, we just did that, I think. <laughs> well, we're about to, we haven't done it yet, but we will. Yeah. And, and those two would be just, we're not gonna change the, we're just gonna change the flags to default to being on. We're gonna keep the flags and default them on, give no way to not use them. Right. Basically the change, okay. So that one certainly take is is likely taken care of. Um, this one was a larger change. I don't remember how many uh, how many updates. Yeah, there was twenty file changes, so there were a fair number of changes to do with these. I don't know how many were. Yeah, so some of them were real versus um, or, or sorry, were code changes versus test changes. So anyway, yeah. you could do a bit of an assessment of where we are. Um, from an AIP zero, if if we are that close, zero eleven might be one zero zero. So, yeah, uh, I guess we're we're not looking at doing protocol support for DidCom two yet, but no, um, but we're getting close to being able to um, yeah. with the um, with this the rotate protocol that's in place. Um, still a draft, but um, that would enable us to get ready to transition to DidCom2. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, if you could give us just a written update of, of what you think we're at, that would be, I think you're the by far the best to know at the envelope layer where we are. Okay. Thank you. Can you hear me now? No, I can't. Are you uh, I'm, damn. <laughs> What's up, Jason? Um, yeah, uh, right. With uh, MDS integration work, uh, I'm working on just the back end stuff. I'm hoping probably within a week or two of work, I should be able to have that stuff polished and ready for production. However, um, again, I'm off a couple of days and then there's probably some stick handling. And if they want me to do some front end, if they want me to build front end buttons and, and stuff for it. So I sure. can see it stretching out all the way till maybe um, end of October, which would be, which would then allow me to dive back into the did peer stuff. Okay. That's a long way out. Yeah. If they, if they want me to, to build in the UI components to have them like be able to update and, and error correct and things like that. But I don't know exactly whether they're going to need me to do all that. Um, obviously, the less the better, but I also know that we want this built. And if we want it built more than they want to build it, <laughs> then yeah, okay. um, I'll be the one doing it. So yeah, um, it'll be probably a little bit more time before I jump back in and did peer, which is unfortunate. I'm somebody to see that across the finish line, but obviously, I can't wait. And if uh, Bloom's able to take it, then he should. Cool. Yeah, I think I should be able to. Uh, put some time in it well before the end of October. So I, I think I might be able to leapfrog you there. So. Okay. Okay. Um, we've looked at the PRs. Um, if you don't, can we extend this meeting a little bit more? Does anyone mind? I mean, I sort of assumed we would. I think we need to change this to an hour long meeting anyway and cut it short when we can. I'm going to have to leave in, in two minutes, but I, I think you guys can carry on without me. I'm just listening. Not very helpful. You're always helpful, Emiliano. Um, any it, it, okay to keep going? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, awesome that this is closed. Daniel, thank you for that. Great work on figuring out exactly what was happening here. Very clever. Um, so this was submitted by Ariel from um, uh, from the AFJ team. Um, two services, um, Akapai wasn't resolving them, but the reason was because these IDs are identical. And so when we were um, serializing, we were dropping one of them because they were the same. Nice work. Um, I noticed he's already got a PR into AFJ to fix their side of it. Nice. Um, okay, so 
020-DEV1 of an OnCreds RS is there, which eliminates, which uses the latest CL signatures. So this is now ready available and so should be merged into an OnCreds RS, which last I checked was, oh, also on Daniel's shoulders, not good. Um, so at some point this needs to, this will need to go in. Um, I suspect the peer did piece is probably higher priority, but Daniel, up to you to figure out what, what works for you. I think either I cut out or you cut out for a moment there, but I think I got the gist of what you're saying. Um, yeah, the, uh, uh, did peer stuff is probably going to be my my first priority for a little bit at least, but I'll, I'll see if I can squeeze in some time anywhere for uh, getting that merge taken care okay. of. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I talked the whole way through that, so it wasn't on my side. Um, bump shared components version. Um, we now have, again, tagged releases for Asgar. Um, we're automatically picking up Indy VDR and Indy Credex in Akapai. Um, or sorry, Indy Credex are automatically picked up. So Indy VDR and Asgar need to be added. Um, so those dependencies will be updated. Um, imagine um, uh, Shenjot, that probably would might be one once you get through the last of your um, work on the other side to to get this as a as a transition task. We'll see how that, that goes. Good. Um, I can I can probably put in a draft PR just to test. Oh, okay. Those uh, because there's a dev release of Ascar. Yeah up that we can test against. Yeah. Um, and it oh, would be right. That was the other part of that discussion. Mm -hmm. um, should we go? I, I don't know how soon 030 Ascar will be out. Should we actually do a release where we rely on dev one or should we wait until? I would wait. I don't think it'll be long, but um, okay. one thing I'd like us to validate is the Postgres 15. Yes. Okay. Uh, on Kubernetes, because I, I can only test it locally. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it, then, Andrew, if you could do this upgrade with a work in progress and flag it for Wade, he can run the um, testing on the upgrade. Okay. Awesome. Okay, good. Thank you. And then this last one. Yeah, this might be another good one to put into an upgrade. Again, I don't think it affects us. This was a conversation and basically they're flagging that we're using a, um, a dependency that's um, got a vulnerability reported and it would be good if we could get past that. Um, so it would be good to get this upgrade done sooner than later. Uh, is, is A, am I right in that? Any any objections? Um, and I'll just flag it as a high priority so we've got the, the button on it. Um, I haven't seen if they've made any breaking changes. Yeah, that's the, obviously that's the whole question. I, I'm not even sure what version. I guess we're on, yeah, anyway. Uh, Obviously, somebody would need to run this and then see how we do with the, the integration tests. Typical dependency updates. Those are the ones I flagged. Any other ones people have to flag from the issues? Did we look at 2501? I noticed that you had it in the list, but I don't, I don't know that I saw you pull it up. Uh, Oh, I didn't pull it up. Um, so this one is just a, a, a fun dependency dance. Um, so we recently added the multi-formats library in, and there's an issue with using typing extensions greater than or equal to 4.6, I think. Um, the issue has been open for a while. The workaround isn't too painful, um, but it's 
starting to cause a bit of a headache with uh, resolving some dependencies. So, um, yeah, I think that typing extensions, there's another one as well that there's like one version that <laughs> matches up between all the other dependencies and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. The, the other thing that's kind of exacerbating this is we've also recently pulled in the peerded Python yeah. library from Sigma, uh, which right. also is perhaps a little overly picky of which versions yeah. of things it's expecting. Um, I've submitted a PR to them. Uh, I haven't gotten much of a response from SICPA yet. Uh, I'm meeting with them tomorrow, so I'll, I'll see if I can knock some heads and get things moving there. Um, yeah, there should also be a PR from me from like a month and a half ago or two months, and I never got a response, which is jet having the library generate did peer three because it doesn't even know that did peer three is a thing, and it's a pretty simple algorithm. So I tried right. to add it as a method to to that library and got no response. So um, yeah, they haven't been super responsive, and maybe you want to poke them on that one too. Yeah, I think probably the right answer is to encourage them to move it out of their repos. Um, yeah. Just or not sure where exactly to encourage them to move things, I guess. Yeah. Are you a member of their organization? I am not. Um, well, I, I am in the GitHub sense, but like I have very little. Uh, no, 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 that's what or... I mean. Can they make you a maintainer on that? They probably could. Um, yeah. And I could I could probably push for that as a stopgap. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll talk with them and see what's possible and uh, see if we can get things moving there so we can uh, unravel some of these dependency conflicts. Yeah, OK. I should probably open an issue, actually, um, explicitly stating that while we've done the PyDid update on the 0.10.2 branch, we haven't yet done it on main uh because of these dependency conflicts so uh, i'll open one up just to track that that needs to take place still yeah i've lost one of my topics in here yeah um yeah let's hit this one first Um, so we've had an offer from Disney, which is not Disney, Disney, which is, I think both a company, well, it's a, it's a Linux foundation, uh, foundation, Disney foundation. Um, and I got a note from somebody involved in that, that they want to implement open ID for VCs in, um, in Akapai and they're looking for guidance on on doing that they've done a evidently they've made a few PRs to just minor things but they usually they basically use Akapai as a black box and just use it um, so um, they are now interested in adding open ID for VCs and they wonder uh, are wondering what guidance we have for them in what to do um, I've invited them next week to, I invited them here as well, but I figured it was too early anyway. So I'm not bothered that they're not here. They said they couldn't make it, but um, they're likely to be able to make the Acapug next week. Um, thoughts on, I believe we had talked about making it a plugin. I have asked them for what admin API they, they would like to have. Um, so what, what interface from their controller they would expect. Um, so basically we have the option of figuring out, okay, here's how we suggest you do it. Um, I, I know Daniel, you talked previously about doing it as a plugin. Is that still where you're leaning? Uh, anyone else have other thoughts on, on what to do, Daniel? So we've, got uh, a proof of concept that we've been working on for OpenID for VCs. Um, it, it's 
the way we've structured it is we've actually had it be a separate service outside of Akapai, and we're just making use of like the JWT sign and verify endpoints mm -hmm. yeah. uh, provided by the admin API to perform the crypto, um, take advantage of, of, you know, secure storage, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then just implementing the open ID for VCI protocol within uh, okay. a separate context. Um, we're like, we're still pretty early stages, I would say with that. Um, I don't think we have a problem with being more open about our, our progress and work on that so far, but we, we have been kind of behind closed doors a little bit so far on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and most of that's not because there's anything actually secret there. Just, yeah. we're just, you know, don't yeah. want to air the dirty laundry out, I guess. Um, so uh, yeah, we're, we're still working on that. Um, we're to a point where we're interacting with uh, the Spherion wallet, uh, which has open ID for VCI support um, just because it was there and available and it was easy enough to pick up and, and use it to interact with things. Yeah. Um, so that might, that, that, I think that would be something that we'd be happy to demo on like an Acapug call okay. soon ish. I'm not sure if next week is too early or not. Um, I'll have to talk to Adam and Char and see how they feel about that, I guess, uh, not to put Adam on the spot here. Um, well, is yeah. the thing for me to do connect you guys directly with Sergio, um, who's the person that's been talking to me directly? Um, I certainly wouldn't mind uh, okay. talking with them and, and sharing what we've learned so far, at least, yeah. Yeah. Um... I can probably join in as well. I've done a quick proof of concept, uh, open ID okay. issue in some presentation, also with the Sphere on wallet. I think it mostly only supports the J JWT V what is it? JWT yeah, JWT V C drop profile yeah. at the moment. Yeah, it sounds right. Or the sometimes it's called the JFF drop pro profile, I think. So here are the Disney um, Foundation members. Um, so I, I think I've heard of this. I think it was mentioned at the Linux Foundation meeting. Notice it is a Linux Foundation um, uh, community, if you will. And InfoCert certainly is uh, uh, well known in our community. Um, not too sure. I'm pretty sure I've heard of NimLab before, possibly Gaia. Um, but it, it's a it's a decent possibility you might be able to get um, um, at, you know you might be able to be use uh, you might get development help on this. So that right. could be a reason to do it. So out of curiosity, since Andrew mentioned the proof of concept i'm curious in in your approach have you been doing it similar to how we've done it just outside of akapai or or what has your approach been uh i wasn't using akapai okay so it's uh just a it's like one one python file that generates a, a jot and sends it over cool. um and has the oauth endpoints right the uh paradigm wallet Ought to be an option as well. Uh, I was running into some some strange issues there that will probably be fixed soon, but um, I was able to issue a, a jot to it. Nice. We have plans to uh, to use the AFJ OpenID for VCI client package that they've got and try to set up some automated testing on our side um, and test that out as well. Uh, haven't gotten that, to that quite yet though. And I assume this is Akapai as an issuer and verifier. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In the very literal sense where it's just signing the credentials and and uh, performing the key lookup uh, look and uh, signature verification. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can, and probably ought to track things internally as a protocol with state the, the way we do 
um, over didcom. But uh, that would definitely require some API changes if it's done externally. So we've, this is something that I could I could see going either way, to be honest. Um, so far we've been um, pursuing it in like, so it's a companion service to ActPy and we use ActPy for the issue of verify steps. Uh, but then also we're expecting a controller um, to the, uh, the service that we've put together. And just like how ActPy delegates the business logic to its controller, a uh, similar model where we're delegating like the determination of exactly what credentials are on offer um, to the controller mm -hmm. and uh, uh, letting it handle the storage of those values as well. So regardless of how the, you know, the values intended to populate the credential are, are being obtained, whether it's through like a form submission on a website or if it was pulled from a backend or something like that, uh, we've been delegating the reporting of the actual values to ultimately be issued um, to a, a separate controller service. Okay, I think you can also, you can do it mostly statelessly by using like an encrypted jot in the ID token. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you, know, you can put all the, the issuance parameters in there and then they will be submitted by the client uh, in, in the final step. Right. Interesting. Uh, it's just the state parameter, I think it's called. I will have to take a closer look at that. Um, the, I guess the, the bigger barrier there is if you want a, a small QR code, then you probably want to shorten that to just a reference. Right. Um, so in the flows that you've been implementing, it sounds like you've been doing the pre-auth flow as opposed to the authorization code flow. Yes. Right, because those are also the only ones that are implemented by Spherion and the other one. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I guess to, to summarize the topic a little bit here, I think there's there's obvious tie-ins to Akapai and there's ways Akapai can support doing OpenID for VCI, but I'm not sure that I would have that be a direct responsibility of Akapai still. Yeah. Um, and we've had it be slightly more decoupled than having it be a plugin so far. So it's just something that depends on the admin API. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you can create jots and SD jots through the API, I guess. You, you can just glue it all together at the controller yeah. level um, and we can we can add more of the glue later on for Occupy to do those things automatically. Yeah, for sure. Perhaps. Okay, um, what I suggest is how about this? I'll, I'll create a DM conversation with the three of us uh, and Sergio and then We'll tentatively say at Acapug next week we'll talk about this, um, but base it on how you know where he is and what what value you think you can get from him. Does that sound right? Okay. Yep. Thumbs Sounds up. good to me. Okay, and then if if we don't think you know he's actually got got much, then we'll we can defer it if we feel like it. Cool. Um, okay. Um, Sherman, uh, do you want to give us a quick update on where you are in RS? I saw lots of closing things yesterday and merging of PRs, so I was happy to see that. What's next? Um, I think I'm going to try and put the rotate API in. Oh, I thought it was done. Sorry. No, that no, because we did that app after we started the non creds okay. thing. So that's going to come in. Um, hopefully, that's not any kind of trickery or anything. Um, yep. Hopefully, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then there's still like all the Pi tests have been commented out, which is a chunk of work that I'd like to get into pl in place to yeah. remove ones that aren't needed and get the other ones updated uh, so that they aren't just forgotten about. 
Um, then there's a big one that I think should probably be tackled soon. And the reason I bring it up is so it's quite diverged from Maine. Okay. So that's, I think 2411, I think is the ticket number um, for that. Um, so that needs to be done. And then that's also the work that I think Andrew and Daniel will have to coordinate because there's going to be that chunk of work for the, the that Andrew did with the indie yes. kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so I'm suggesting we bring that up. I'm going to be away in two weeks. So, um, so one, pawning it off on other people <laughs> is good for me, but also that will be a few days where I'm not doing any work. Yeah. So I think that's that 2506. That, I believe that's 2506, which is upgrading to an on creds and in, uh, sorry, upgrading to an on creds to zero two zero. And in doing that, um, adjusting the revocation endpoints to deal with the fact that tails files are no longer needed for issuing and, re and revoking and, but some additional deals are so the the things that andrew did when when credx was upgraded on the main on the main um branch yeah so i guess there, there's a few tickets i'm just like there will be on the 10th through the 13th i won't really be working so it's a good opportunity to kind of get that branch cleaned up without me trying to, you know, I think it'll be tricky enough getting it <laughs> kind of in sync with me and touching up all those missing things. Um, but it'll be easier if I'm also not actively working on something. So just planning forward if, if um, we could get the resources together from the 10th, October 10th through 13th to tackle that. I think would be ideal so there's not two different um things going on um i think so that also I, happens to be iaw it is oh it yeah. so thing. it's a bad it's actually a bad time <laughs> <laughs> okay well that's too bad <laughs> i just thought it'd be ideal that i wouldn't be like bashing away in there and, and causing conflicts in that um so maybe we'll have to think of that rethink that but um other than that, yeah, I, I there's a lot of little things like say that the cleaning up those tests and stuff and getting those into sync. Um, probably uh, we've kind of skipped over the endorser side of things. Um, yeah, yeah. I was so, that, that is the only. I think that's the last big thing left. Yeah, and then then it moves into how do we migrate? So there's a lot of tickets about you know, migration processes and things like that that have to be squared away. But um, yeah, I think the endorser thing is going to be a, a, a fair chunk of work. Um, yeah. So right now there's a bunch of all, all the, yeah, there's a whole bunch of BD tests that are commented out because they rely on the endorser and um, it would be nice to <laughs> deal with that. Um yeah, I mean, things are going, they're going slowly. It's it, one of the big problems in the revocation arena is that I have, I have no idea what, other than the concept of revocation, I have no idea what the contents of the tales, like I have no idea what any of that at a technical level means. So it's, it's, uh, it's diff it was difficult for me to know what was going on and what I was ruining or whatever. So um, that's unfortunate. We could have, I could have given you a full overview of it. I yeah, know, it's just, okay. it, it, I don't know the code level, but I definitely know all of the concepts and what's in it and how it works. Yeah. So. I should probably get a, still get a brain dump of all that just so that I know okay. going forward what, what at a technical level, kind of what's, what's happening. Um, so that was a bit of a, that, that was a bit of a, a slower thing than I think it should have been, but that's maybe my fault for not saying, Hey, I don't, I'd like to know what, <laughs> this okay. means what that means but um so but moving on yeah I, uh the get the rotate one in there um get the tests kind of in sync with whatever's going on and then um yeah the endorser is probably the next big thing after that um but if we can't coordinate um 
the merge, the main, and the, that cleanup while I'm away, um, that's kind of huge as well. So we'll have to figure that one out in short order. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right, I think that's everything. And we're pretty much at time anyway. Anything else we should raise at this point? Um, one last thing that comes to mind. Uh, so we, we've talked about creating a plugins repo. We haven't done that quite yet, right? No, um, we do have a developer. We're thinking of putting on that as soon as he becomes available. Um, he's getting his first taste of Akapai um, repository, but um, we weren't able to shift him into that already. But the idea was for him to create the repository and begin to populate it with existing plugins. Okay. Uh, just thinking thinking ahead, I guess, a little bit to a, a 1.0 release. Perhaps it's a little too ambitious, but it would be kind of nice to be able to drop some of the less critical things into plugins, things yeah. that are, you know, use case specific, for instance, mediation. Yeah. Uh, having that all be contained within a plugin would be nice. Uh, also think it would be nice to be able to move the connections protocol out um as well yeah yeah Just i mean that. i had that repo that was like a proof of concept of what we wanted out of there but it's been kind of sitting around waiting for <laughs> such an opportunity as to actually populate it with something useful so yeah it'll be interesting to get that in i i know there's there's a couple of small really small plugins in traction that aren't really traction specific so like change the connection alias really small things basic message storage stuff like that that's not really like i say um traction things and just kind of little enhancements that uh they they can probably move out of there as well um just so there's a few more real simple examples for people that want to do stuff and contribute i think but yeah i, I like your idea of starting to move stuff out um where possible yeah. and uh yeah that would that be be interesting and also good because i think we can that way we can also tighten up the core akapai code as well yeah um, exactly yeah so, so yeah. Is, the goal, is the goal for this repo to house all the code of all the plugins or just like references or installation like yes and just all the code for core what we would call core plugins. In other words, official, official plugins? Official plugins. Things we don't want in main, um, in Akapai, but we do want readily accessible and, and such that people can add additional plugins that um, make sense. And I just, I just I very easily predict that in like two years, we'll be like, this repo's too big. We got to split, split them all into their own repos. <laughs> um, so. But, but, but if if it's if it's yeah if it's being um, narrowed at least um, it makes a little more sense. So okay, just wanted to yeah. I mean, my when fear, I heard that. my other side fear is that we get a thousand repos and they're all different, um, and and that too becomes unmaintainable. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. No, I think I think it's uh, good. And also, like we can draw the line between like oh, this shouldn't even be a plugin at all. Like let's just make it native behavior, right? Like, exactly. Like, or this is too stuff. obscure that you can create your own repo in someplace else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think I think that makes sense. Just wanted to, to raise that. Yeah, I, I almost want to be able to use it as like the graveyard for for exactly. deprecated protocols as well. And mm, uh, and yeah. in that case, I I would want to see things like be removed altogether eventually. But until we're to a point where yeah. you know the the whole community has migrated away thoroughly enough, then it's available at least as a plugin. And we can put breaking change into the change log and say, here is exactly how you retain this if you need to yeah you right. can restore it by in, by including the obsolete plugin yeah that's a that's a good uh, framework to transition yeah. away from the core functionality yeah awesome okay we're out of time thanks all it was a good meeting um, i think i will extend this to an hour and um uh for our team at least probably cancel uh or suggest we don't have a tuesday um stand up and 
for our part, we'll do this and others can figure out what they want to do. We'll see. Anyway, I appreciate everyone being here and have a delightful rest of your day. We have some things to do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon.